Rise and grind gamers, it's time to take a look at one of the Paladin decks in Legion in Zero that is not really seen as top meta but managed to actually show up in the top 16 for the Zero Championships. That was pretty cool. Of course, today we're taking a look at Jewel Knights, which I've been playing with on and off, and it definitely doesn't feel like a top deck or like, you know, like a top meta deck by any means, but. It's fun to mess around with, it has a pretty strong early game, and it has the ability to convert like the numbers well into magic numbers, you know, that hit over defensives, which is really, really nice. So, we're just gonna play around with it, uh, don't expect too much in terms of, you know, competitive viability, it's more of a fun deck. Uh, and, you know, this set definitely had quite a few of those, and so after this, I think all we have left for this set is basically Blaster Joker and Mr. Uh, the Great, so those are definitely two meta decks that we're gonna take a look at. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty exciting, I'm also gonna be covering three three clan event decks on top of that i think meg colony spikes and there was something else i think the batama so I, I actually finished those so we'll take a look at those as well uh, over the rest of this month you know while we wait for g news speaking of which tomorrow tomorrow as i'm recording this which is gonna be the 14th of september so if you're watching this later you know in the months to come then never you know disregard what i'm saying here but tomorrow we find out a lot of news for g uh on the big bushroad product stream at 7 a.m cest so come through on my twitch i'll be restreaming it with uh, english translations as we go so look forward to that but anyway enough of self-plugging and self-promotion let's take a look at the deck list here coding is back unreversed and beautiful as ever and so this is what the list looks like so essentially um i tried a bunch of different builds I had one build where we used like Tiffany, the old starter, to like power up your like two of your dual knights by 3k to like enable a strong early rush, but I feel like that was <sighs> the deck just like kind of like burns up and dies very quickly. Whereas this one is more meant to like have the option to have that strong early game, but also be able to rely on the Ashley engine to just you know be able to pop intercepts and search out your own intercepts, which the Legion doesn't do, and also use the of course powerful support of the Miranda. So we still have a lot of the dual knight engine. We have the new starter as well which is the Raze Gull. Uh, when your rearguard is placed by your card's ability, if it is, if you have four more Jewel Knight rearguards for that turn, that unit gains plus 3k. So that's a really nice way to make strong columns and actually like, convert your numbers into nice ones. And on top of that, also enable some multi-tech combos too, if you wish to do that. So let's take a look at some new cards, right? We have the Legion, which is Mr. Evane. So Evane, uh, Legion's with Sword Me, one of the best grade twos in Royal Paladin history. And during your turn, he says, if you're in Legion state, if you have four or more jewel knight rear guards he gains 5k and a crit so basically like a salome but not limit break restricted which is pretty nice and of course that's a very easy condition as long as you're not playing at something like link joker and then on top of that he also says when placed count us one so us one to search a deck for a sword me and call it so this doesn't need to be on legion just when you ride it so it's a nice way to make a board on turn three even if you're going first which is really nice and then of course sword me is the grade two so she says or he i don't remember you know what gender sword me is but when placed in regard circle count us one search a deck for a grade one or lower jewel knight and call it so this right now might not seem like it's that strong but when we get limb break removers hopefully eventually the limb break remover for royals is a jewel knight which is pretty nice in the future and sword me will be very useful in sanctuary guard if they decide to bring over the sanctuary guard stride we'll see maybe they're a bit too afraid of that but because that definitely did you know dominate the format for quite a long time but it's a good card it just tutors out your grade ones like you can search out for the prismy which lets you discard one draw one search out 10k attackers if you need to search out this which is a really good new card which is the sin villain uh when he's placed on rear guard circle if you have four more jewel knight rear guards you can rest him and then you give one of your jewel knights plus 10k power it can also be your vanguard this is a really nice way to like make sure you hit over defensives because you can call this mid battle and just like give a column plus 10 which will usually you know hit over defensive and of course we can call in the middle in the middle of battle with mr altgaro so altgaro says when his attack hits a vanguard if you have four more jewel knight rear guards soul blast one and search your deck for a grade one or lower jewel knight and call it so he basically lets us like call something like a 10k attacker and then this will give the thing called plus 3k so it can actually hit it with a boost which is definitely quite cool so we definitely really like that a lot everything else is mostly old stuff um just good stuff you know good jewel stuff so that's it that's the list uh basically you play the new stuff to have stronger grade twos and a nice legion and then also not to deck out and then you go into ashley reverse when you need to like pop intercepts and stuff so yeah it was a pretty fun deck i've had like a 
fair bit of success with it. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, super meta, omega, the best deck ever, uh, you know, by any means. But it's just a fun little deck, and, you know, we're gonna just play some games and have fun with it, right? So, nothing too serious. Just some nice, lighthearted fun with the boys and girls. Alright, let's see who we're playing against. No, we're gonna be Link Joker. God damn it. This is like the only deck that we kind of auto lose to because like even actually reverse is a bad tool. Oh my god, it had to be Link Joker. It had to be Link Joker and we don't run unlockers. Ah, suddenly I'm not excited. Suddenly my excitement has died. I mean, we'll try our best. We'll try our best. And our only grade three is the Ashley Break Ride, which is by far the most suboptimal ride possible. So we'll do our best. Oh. The leaders might be a different story. The leaders might be a different story. Not as bad as Star Raiders, actually, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Man, I saw the craziest thing, like, on the news today, where, like, um, you guys know what a pachinko parlor is? Like, pachinko is basically, like, basically, like, slot machines. Like, it's just, like, slot machine gambling in Japan. Um, and, like, it's it's kind of like legal gambling in a way, because you get, like, tokens and, and stuff from the pachinko, and then you don't, like, get money from the pachinko place itself, but you convert the tokens into money in a se separate establishment, so obviously that makes it all okay, right? But the reason why I'm telling you this is because, like, they basically started doing vaccinations in Japan at pachinko parlors, and, like, even while people are gambling, so it's kind of funny how, like, We've gone, we've gone so far with 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 the vaccination rates that is now happening at at pachinko parlors. It's just what a world we live in. Anyway, enough pachinko talk. Back to the game. Uh, we damage check the sorting, which really hurts. Like Miranda's an amazing card, but if we're not sitting on oh, all right, never mind. If we, yeah, I was gonna say if we're not sitting on Ashley, it doesn't really do that much. So you know, it's okay, okay. Um. We could call this to kind of like rush down a little bit. And I can also like discard one of my heals with the sword me by calling out a prismy and hit for nice numbers. So I think let's do that. Because this will call out a grade one, which will become a 10k because of the starter, which is really nice. So that's one of the nice like early game kind of push things you can do. Of course, if he calls down a locker after this, I'm gonna die, but you know, I'll do my best not to die. <laughs> Everyone clapped and was happy. No, stop drawing heals. So rude, man. Why is my deck so rude to me? I didn't do anything, you know, to deserve this kind of rude treatment, but here we are. We live in a society. Alright, so as you can see, this hits for really nice numbers, you know, just turn two, solid three attack push, you know, it, it's all, anything, everything you could ask for. Anything and everything. Their hand is pretty small, actually, only six cards, considering they hit a draw there, too. Alright, I'm assuming I'm gonna get deleted, which is good, because then I can discard the heal from my hand and go into Legion immediately. As long as he doesn't have the locker, I'm okay. <laughs> just please don't have the locker. Okay, he's deleting. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just worried about the locker. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No locker, no locker, no locker, no locker, no locker, no. Yes! We're good. We're good. We can survive. We can persevere. We're allowed basic human rights. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think we're fine. I'd like to draw into an intercept that isn't Miranda, but if it's gonna have to be Miranda, it's gonna have to be Miranda. You know, beggars can't be choosers. So he hits me to three, which means we're in perfect range for Legion, which is great. We lose a PG, which isn't great. That's that's not so good, but it's okay. Here we can discard the Ashley to actually put the heal back, and then just ride Mr. Ivan. She has a line. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you have it. All right. Soul Blast, the uh, thingy, call the Sword Me, and we have enough CB to actually use the Sword Me, which is really nice. So we're going to use the Sword Me, and I think we can call down the Prismy here, because I don't think I want to really go into... Do I want to go into actually reverse this game? I'd uh, push the four triggers and drop some, so I guess let's do it. We'll probably draw into another one later on anyway. You know how it goes. You guys know how it goes. God damn it, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I did not want to draw, drop a draw for a heal. That's not my aim, but okay. Okay, I see how it is. At least we're putting back a lot of triggers, that's fine. We don't have any intercepts, though, outside of Miranda, so I guess I have to call down the Miranda because I don't want to lose the squad. Maybe I should have kept Ashley Reverse purely for the reride. That's an idea. But yeah, sadly Miranda doesn't do anything when you're not on Ashley, but... But you, like, you generally go into Ashley when your opponents are like 5 or like 4, where like, you know, this crit doesn't really matter anymore. Or if they, you just have to like search out intercepts, because then of course like, you know, Ivan doesn't search intercepts outside of when you ride him. So for that reason it's pretty important. Alright, draw into grade 1. 
That's fine, we pushed to five, and now he needs to basically answer with multiple uh, grade twos in order to back up his defenses. Ooh! That's interesting, because he has to discard for this. He has to discard to use this, so... That's kind of interesting. Alright. Wow, you can really hear his the ride line. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to how loud it is. Alright, so we're gonna get some stuff locked up. But it's not too bad, actually. Especially if he doesn't have, like, more than one step. If he has a Photon in hand, then that's kind of yikes. I'm a little bit afraid of the Photon. But if he doesn't have it, we're okay. Oh, doesn't look like it. It doesn't have an intercept, so I can actually swing two times into the face. And I'm not deleted either. This is one of the reasons why I consider running the Camille as well. Because Camille, you know, makes it so that it checks for only three Jewel Knight rear guards rather than four. So in situations like this, you can still kind of maneuver your way through. So let's see. Oh, the heal whiff kind of hurts, but it's okay. We'll take the defensive anyway. Uh, Mr. Mr. Altgaro, you're not really doing a good job right now. Actually, uh, no, we need four rear guards for this to power up as well, which is really annoying. Like, I want to have the intercept on the field, but two cards in hand? Could they both be PGs? They could. And then this unlocks. I have an interceptor, but then if he locks my stuff again, I die. I think we take the gamble to try and win here. I think we just try to gamble for the win and see if he has both PGs in hand. Because, I mean, if he does, so be it, right? So be it. But I think it's worth the gamble. The heal, okay, with this we should be able to survive. With this we should be able to survive. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, just one PG. So he's begging for the heal here in order to survive. And let's see if he does get it. He does not. We managed to win against Link Joker. <laughs> it's kind of surprising. I mean, again, all we did was have a strong early game where we hit over defensives in case he got any. And then turn three, just push him to five with a, with a crit. Normally against other matchups, I would go into like an actually reverse there to kill an intercept. But he didn't even have any intercepts, so... It just kind of worked out, right? It just kind of worked out, so... Oh yeah, also we have triple VP right now, which is really nice. As you can see, I'm really behind on VP for some reason this season. Like, I haven't even been, like, not playing or something. Like, I've been playing fairly regularly, but I think... I've been playing effective games where I win most of them, I think. And that's why, like, my Legend rank is fairly... Like, it's not high, but it's, like... It's not the Legend rank of someone that's not playing, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I think there was a few days where, like, I forgot to do my VP before going to bed. So... That might be it. Perhaps. Perhaps. But anyway, let's go for another game and see what else we run into. Hopefully not back-to-back -back Link Joker opponents. That would be pretty nice. Alright, alright, let's see. Ooh, Shadows. Okay, okay. That's... Shadows have been, like, popping up here and there again. I think a lot of people, they're just kind of, like, grinding out this month. Like, we still have, like, what, two weeks left until the next set. Um, is it two weeks? Is it really? Oh my god, it's only two weeks. Oh, wow. No, it's kind of two and a half, isn't it? God damn it. Just when I got excited. This is a really good combo hand. Because, like, what we can do is, like, write this, then write this, call this, sort me into something, and then combo off. We don't have a grade three, but, like, it's kind of okay. Strong early game equals good. So... I forgot if I'm going first or second, though, because it definitely changes how good your offense can be. Luckily, the news... Oh, we're going first! Perfect! Okay, 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 okay. I think we have a good early starting turn, then. As long as my opponent hasn't disconnected. Somehow this always happens when I'm recording! Oh my god. But how have you guys been enjoying Legion so far? I know when Legion first came out, people were a little bit like, mm. uh, I remember seeing quite a bit of, like... You know, people going like, oh, games are so long, and there's so much heals, and like, blah blah blah, and all that kind of stuff. But now I also know some people are, like, happy that a lot of, like, Limit Break cards are still useful and, like, usable with the Legions and stuff. So let me know how you guys think about how you feel about Legions so far, you know, and what you're looking forward to, any upcoming cards, or, like, if you're in JP, how are you spending the time while we wait for G to come out? Man, I'm gonna go... I really wanna go really hard when G comes out. Like, I think... It's, it's sad because... The, like, September, where, like, you know, it's, like, cheaper to subscribe to people on Twitch is obviously now, when, like, if it was next month, I'd be going super hard with Zero, and, you know, could, like, be streaming all the time, but sadly, that's not gonna be the case right now, so... Bit unfortunate, bit unfortunate. Alright, I'm thinking here how we can make the best columns. I think I wanna start with Altgaro, and then make a 19k column, and then we can make a 24. I think Altgaro can make a really nice field over here so we'll just prism me to put the heal into the drop zone not that i'm gonna like you know i don't think i mean i don't have legion right now but i'd rather be sitting on ashley reverse than regular ashley to be honest sword me sword me doesn't mean much right now 
to be honest. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, Chief. Alright. Ooh, hits nothing. But I'm gonna make sure that I hit over the defensive no matter what. So this is Algaro's power, right? It's not so much about the multi-attacks and, like, making four attacks and, like, calling grade ones to the front row. It's about this. 29k columns on turn two, baby. You know it. You know it. That's the power of this card. That's what makes it so nice. Like, look at this, man. He's on grade one. He's getting beat up by dogs and knights and stuff. Ooh, it's crit revengers. Uh-oh. PGs in hand. ASAP, please. Luckily, if we sit on Ashley next turn, we can go into Miranda and just, like, farm. So, that's good. All right, he has BDR. Let's see if he's going to pop something. He's going to get a bit cheeky. A little bit cheeky, you know. Star oh, he's going to get cheeky. Okay. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's get cheeky. All right. Mana, knowing that it's gonna go away. Oh, maybe he's searching for Mordred search. No, it's Trumpeter, okay. Does he use a CB? No, he doesn't. Oh, tank attackers. Well, he wants to bring back the heat. Okay. All right. Okay. I see you. I see how it is. All right. Okay, so Algaro goes away. Farewell. Soldier, you've done a great job today. All right, let's see here. Oh, PG going away. That's not good. That's not good at all. Salome. Oh, two of my PGs died. That's like considering playing as Crit Revengers. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Um let's see. I don't think there's any point in writing Salome as much as I love her. My beloved Salome. Um I'm thinking if I want to like ride this, then sword me for a Prismi to dig for other cards and then just like Miranda. I feel like that's the play here. I feel like that's the play. We also make just nicer columns. So let's just overcall our stuff. I think it's fine like this. TBH. TBH, we can just do this. Discard this Salome. Set up for Legion later. Hey, there he is. The Mr. Man. The Mr. Man coming through. Alright, so we push him to 5 here. Honestly, staying on Ashley Reverse might be better. If we're, st if we're pushing him to 5 right now, then I think staying on Ashley Reverse would be better because we can at least pop the intercepts, right? More crits. Oh my god, it's like eight. Bro, everyone's trying to get VP ASAP, man. They're just running these crazy decks and everything. Like, oh my god. Alright, we don't need more Evanes in hand, so we're gonna not take that. Alright, show me another crit. Aw, oh, draw! You run draws too? He hasn't shown me a heal, though. <laughs> he hasn't shown me a heal, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, there's an RPBA. How many times? I feel like in recent Deccan fights, I've run into, like, Revenger opponents so often. Like, you guys just have to watch Revengers non-stop. Oh my god, he's overcalling into Legion. Dude, this could kill me, though. That's the worst part. Like, he could actually kill me with this, because... I mean, essentially, it's, it's pretty straightforward, right? Like, he... Wait! Is this a heal? Does it count as a heal? Or does it... Is it just a random grade zero? I think it's just a random grade zero. Wait, does he want to overcall so hard that he, like has to use RPBA. Yeah, he's committing to it. Oh my god. Yeah, this doesn't count as a heal. It's just a vanilla trigger. Are you sure you want that in your deck? Are you sure about that, Chief? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, buddy. I could die if he sacks crits. Like, if he actually sacks crits, I might die. Which I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't, because then... Like, he has to call down a PG or something here. Because this has to hit Vanguard, right? Uh, oh, doesn't have to actually hit Vanguard. I think this has to attack Vanguard, right? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 it does. So yeah, now he can attack with the unboosted R. He could have gone unboosted, right? Because if he gone, he if he would have gone unboosted, he could have killed three grade ones, then restood, attacked with the, with the Judge Bow boost, and then called to empty circles, and then he would have been able to use like Swordbreaker and stuff. And like set up board for next turn, but I guess he's not doing that. All right, I mean, let's see what he fetches out here. Again, if he check, checks a crit, I'm dead. If he checks a crit, I'm dead. So it's definitely not you know smooth sailing. It's just a matter of like how well he can dig through his deck right now, I guess. Why even search out the door? Because you're gonna retire it, right? Okay, he draws one from the Swordbreaker. Hopefully that drew drew his crit. <laughs> Please don't find a crit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't have PGs. They're all in the damage zone. I don't want to die. Please, sir. Spare me. Spare me. Don't check. Oh, thank God. Whew. Good God. Praying helps. Praying helps. All right. Three cards in hand. Now I can go for the Legion because he doesn't have anything else, right? Do I even have Sword Means in the deck? I do. I'm a gamer. That's why I do. 
Let's go, sword me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just what you would need on a lovely, lovely day. Do I have another Prismi? No, I don't. But I do have a 10k attacker, which I'll call out because it's gonna get power. And I guess we're gonna have to over heal triggers here, so I might as well make use of that opportunity. Uh, how many triggers do I have in drop zone? Not that many. I'm gonna call over the heal here. Just because I wanna put it back. I just want it back in the deck. I guess I could thin out more stuff too. Let's thin out more stuff, I guess, right? Like, why, why even... Why stop there, right? Let's make this deck as compressed of just triggers as possible and just absolutely obliterate this man. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm all about. All right. Put this back. Let's put the SP1 back. It's a bit... Oh, no, I don't... Uh, I don't have Legion. Okay. Sword me can go back then. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. So... This is going to be a pretty strong turn, but we should start with this and check if he even like, drew into BGs. He did. Good job. Good job. All right. Now we swing with this. Check for the second one. There's no second one. How am I going undefeated with Jewel Knights, of all things, man? This deck really isn't that hard. Like, it really isn't that insane. But, you know, coding is cute, so I guess that carries the deck in, in a way, which is uh, pretty nice. Also, how are these games so fast? Like... Legion is known for being the format with the longest games, but we've been kind of just like smooth sailing. Everything's been like really smooth sailing. Like fast, like games faster than Limit Break era, which is kind of insane to think about. All right, I'll give you guys one last one. As much as I would love to finish on this nice 2-0, um, you know, it's, it feels a bit short. It feels a little bit short. You know, I like to make these deck and fights at least like 25 minutes or something, you know, just play some good games. But I feel like I've been showing every side of the deck. Like, we got to show the Mirandas and the Ashleys doing work. We got to show the Altgaros doing work. We got to show, like, basically everything in the deck doing work. So, I don't know what else there is for me to show you. Just do it again, I guess. The early game especially. Like, if you go first and the early game is strong, it's like, it feels really good. Oh, this could be Brawlers. This could be Brawlers. Oh, I know so many people that want Brawlers in V-Series. Like, a, a next clan collection to have Brawlers in it. Watch us tomorrow they announce it. That'd be so hype. Going second this time. Let's keep this. I think that's fine. We need another grade 2. Oh, there we go. Because <laughs> Sword Me, as amazing as it is, only works on uh, Rearguard Circle. So you have to keep that in mind. So I guess this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We could use a different rear, though. Like, I don't want to call down the... Oh, that kind of works. kind of want to keep the Prismy for later, so... Let's put this down. Prismi does some good work, just like putting your triggers into the drop zone so you can legion earlier. Like, you, you use those tools to legion earlier as much as possible at this point, you know. Oh, draw trigger early, that's not the most frequent thing. I usually have to work hard on my triggers, but this came through early. I think this is Brawlers. I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, this is Brawlers, okay. Um, I'm not sure if we struggle that much against Brawlers, to be honest. We replace our board pretty easily, as long as you have Sword Me's and Evanes and stuff, so I'm not going to stress about it too much, especially because he can't Legion next turn, so we can use this chance to push him. Even with just one CB, we can do a pretty good job, I think. Okay, uh, ride Miranda, and then we can make a nice column with the 12k attacker, so I only run one of her, because she's not that useful, I would say, like, she's fine, um, but we'll make it work, we'll make it work. All right. No Algaro this time, though, so we have to be a little bit careful. Um, oh, did I mess up? No, I didn't mess up, but I'm thinking of doing something else, basically. That's all. Yeah, I guess that's better. Let's call the Prismi here. Call the Prismi here. We can keep the other one for later. All right, so we put the heal away. Get that out of my face. Out of my face, out of my life. Um... This is a difficult part where not having the other grade one that gives 10k would be... It'd be really nice to have it right now, basically. <laughs> it'd be really nice to have it. And I'm also self-denying heals with this board, but I think I'll have to hold that. We'll just have to hold that. Let's go. Push that aggression, baby. Okay, hits a defensive. So this time I don't really have the board to get over defensives, as you can see. But at least this is hitting for 22. And so we're going to take that. We're going to definitely take that. Push him to 3. It's still a nice number. Uh, so this way we have a bit of a damage race going here. He has the Big Bang Knuckle Buster. The base, base, kick, kick, base, kick, kick. That's like, isn't that like the BBK, BB? It's like Big Bang. Big Bang. Knuckle, so K, BBK, 
Buster, right? Or is it Brawler, Big Bang, Knuck... So, B, 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 K, B. Which is basically the same as base, base, kick, kick, base, kick, kick, you know? I'm sure there's fellow rhythm game enthusiasts among my viewers that know what I'm talking about. Oh, this is interesting. So, that grade one gains power whenever your, like, Vanguard hits. So, because it hits there, obviously he gets the thing to be 10k, so now he can hit my sword me. Which is nice, but he's only pushing one damage, which is fine for me. Oh, it's actually not that fine for me, because my grade three searches for a... Shit, I don't have sword me left. Never mind, it searches nothing. Searches nothing. <laughs> it doesn't search anything, because there's nothing to search. Sad. <laughs> Unfortunate. So we have to Legion first, because I don't have any Swarmings left. <laughs> Unfortunate. But it is what it is. We'll have to keep him though, I think, because... Well, no, with this, I still don't have Swarmings in there. God damn it, it's so weird. So weird, man. Um, I'm also missing Intercept, but Intercepts don't matter against Brawlers. What matters is your fighting resolve. And your ability to perform combat against the enemy. <laughs> Alright, do I have more Prismies in the deck? I think it's level 1. Oh, I have 2! Look at that, it's my lucky day. We got 2 whole Prismies? Mom let you have 2? Crazy. Uh, let's discard the Prismie, because I want to keep the Grade 3 to re-Legion if I need to. That's kind of nice. Don't really need it right now, though. We're gonna just, like, bash. Just push, push, and hopefully he doesn't heal on this, and then we can, like, ask for a PB here. So... Your strength as a deck is your early aggression, and you gotta make the most out of it. So rush in with the crits, be ready to lose your board, and just remake whatever you can next turn. My poor great starter is gonna die too. Gonna miss him dearly. Hoi! Unless we just win like that. It looks like that four card hand might not have any PGs. But does the next two cards have a heal for him? No, they don't. What the hell? Undefeated Jewel Knights. New meta confirmed? New meta confirmed? Poggies? Can I get a massive Poggies in the chat right now? Wow. Well, there you have it. Turns out Seekers aren't that hot. Jewel Knights are meta. That's why they succeeded and Seekers didn't. <laughs> Damn. I am pleasantly surprised. I am pleasantly surprised by my own performance. I think that puts me to almost top 1k as well. Like I think I'm like one legend away from top 1k, which is nice. The, the Chaos Breaker they have is pretty sweet. Definitely looks pretty good. All right, cool. That was it. That was Jewel Knights 3-0. What the hell? I'm on fire lately. Watch as like I have to play Star Vaders and then like uh, the Great and just do terrible, like 0-3. Like I literally played, I went into tournament mode the other day, tried it three times and lost round one. And I played like Perditions, Perditions, and Brawlers, and I lost like round one each time. So I was like, wow, I'm terrible at this game. But turns out I should have just played Jewel Knights. Jewel Knights are, are the sauce, the spice, and everything. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Updated Jewel Knights for Legion. Hope you had fun watching this. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you like the content that I do, please also consider subscribing because it helps the channel a lot. And yeah, check out the Twitch, the YouTube, the not the YouTube, the Twitter, and all that other good stuff. Uh, it's all in the description. So give it all the love that you want. And I'll see most of y'all tomorrow morning for the uh, uh, big Bush Road stream, but if you're watching this in the future, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you're having a good day and are taking care of yourself and staying safe. But anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.